I had learned some nice poems by heart and then recite them when I was alone. One of these was Daffodils by Williams Wadsworth and another was The Violets. I can still recite parts of these poems because they were so deeply etched into my mind. I guess the point was to show me that if I could recite these without stuttering them when I'm alone, I ought to be able to recite them in front of people just as well and without making any mistakes. The Violets, down in a dark and shady bed, a modest violet grew. Its stalk was bent, it hung its head as if to hide from view. And yet it was a lovely flower, its colors bright and fair. It might have graced a rosy bower instead of hiding there. I would get up and recite these poems, imagining I was speaking to an audience. But as soon as I got back to real life in front of a schoolroom, my problem returned. I would not want to say that the course did not help, but it definitely did not cure me. I had to keep on working for many years, building up my self-confidence and concentrating on what I wanted to get across to my mm -hmm. listener. That is a brief excerpt from the book, My First 20 Years, Sunrise to Even Tide, the first of a series by David Wagner. And that brings me to this Once Upon a Pipe. I am in the wonderful town of Mayslick, Kentucky, here on an Amish place called Pleasant View Furniture, Amish made oak and cherry furniture, just 12 miles west of Maysville. And I have uh, met a very, very nice and wonderful man, Brother Steve Wagner, a uh, distant relative to David Wagner here. And uh, I wanna get with him and, and I wanna show you a shop, show you some of the excellent furniture, which you can see from the roadside out there. Um, it is absolutely incredible. We'll take a, it's going to be bright out here. We'll take a, just a little walk. Um, I'm riding my motorcycle today. I had a day off. So actually brother Steve is, is, is filming for me. That's my, that's the bike there. It's old, uh, like me. Uh, it's got a lot of miles on it, but, uh, but it's brought me to a good place. And, um, if you look around here, there all of these are, I guess, handmade. Mm -hmm. This is handmade Amish furniture uh, and swings. Swing and set, gym sets. Gym sets. Uh, mm -hmm. Just quality uh, from start to finish. Um, wonderful, 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 incredible stuff here. And... I've been by this place several times uh, on a couple of the motorcycle trips, and I've never stopped. Today, I resolved to stop in here, and I want to know who in the world is is behind uh, this furniture and what is going on here. So, um, I took the chance, and I met a very wonderful man. I'm going to get him to tell you just a little bit about what they do here in a shop. Thank you, Brother mm -hmm. Steve. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, we just retail this uh, Amish built furniture. And we started the business about 10 years ago. Uh, the 10 years here in November. And we bought, we moved down from Indiana and bought, bought this 130 acre farm along US 68 here in Mason County. And uh, we enjoy it. It's been, I was in construction field for 20 some years. And, this is kind of retirement for me. So, yeah, I me and my wife, and we got three boys at home. We had eight children. And uh, there's three boys left. Three boys left. At and home. how did this come to be? Did you always think that you would have a business like this uh, and had been planned for a long time? Or, or did it happen more um, kind of spontaneously? Yes. Yes, we just, it happened after we moved here. Uh, uh, we, my wife had wanted to do a business and, and uh, my dad, living in Indiana, Southern Indiana, recommended we move out by the highway, US 68, and that's what we did. Probably the best thing we've ever done for the business. Now this, uh, for me, seems like it's in the middle 
of nowhere, but the highway has been good to you, as you told me before. Uh, I've been visiting Brother Steve now for probably about an hour. I've been keeping him from a lot of work. <laughs> um, but it's amazing. So you, you are actually able to sell quite a bit here, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Pretty fair. Yes. And, and this is only part of it. Um, where I was reading earlier was inside the shop. It may be darkly lit, but let me step inside here. Yeah, because you. this is some of the most absolutely beautiful furniture and clocks that uh, that I have seen. Look, these are absolutely incredible. Um, brothers, can you make that one clock there but the, it, it splits open? Up here? Yeah, try that one. Look at that. I told Brother Steve if I didn't have uh, five kids at home that might break these clocks uh, shortly after getting them home, I would take them with me. Just beautiful furniture here. Um, and inside here, you want to talk about an absolutely beautiful desk. Look at this. Handmade. Uh, every bit of this. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you just can't find this. And he's got a whole shop right here. So if you are ever in this area, uh, well, even if you're not, this place is worth going out of your way to come by and visit, especially if you want fine furniture, um, and just, you know, want to, to, to meet some good people. Uh, Brother Steve has been wonderful to meet. Very interesting man, um, and it's and it's an excellent place to visit. Take a day off, uh, get out away from the daily grind, and uh, you can come up here and check this out. They're open from nine to five, as the sign shows there. They're closed on Thursdays and Sundays, uh, but other than that, come on by, and. Um, uh, you can visit. This place is just absolutely wonderful. They do good work here. And, uh, and I'm sure that you will find something here that will, that will bless you. Uh, Brother Steve, thank you so much for, uh, letting me visit with you and for sharing yep, with you. me and your story and certain wish blessings to your family. Thank you. This is uh, in Mayslick, Kentucky. Come on by and, and check out the book, My First 20 Years, Sunrise to Evening Tide by David Wagler. Well, that's it for uh, this little stop on Once Upon a Pipe. I'm going to get back on the motorcycle. I still have many, many miles to go, but, um, but this has been a good stop and it's been well worth it. Uh, thank you. Hope you have a great day.